Okay, welcome to the class trial. We will talk about the murder of Glyscore. Starts. Well, we obviously know that Glyscore was killed during a ritual. A ritual you weren't even here for. Yeah, so? You missed out all the important stuff. Who did it? Who killed Glyscore? Well, I could point out one thing. It had to be the timing of the light. No, that's wrong. Ken, I don't think that Glyco was dead when the lights were off. Well, how can you prove that? You don't have any evidence to back that up. It doesn't matter if it's a coincidence. We're solving the mystery of the lights. Well, there might be a reason to why the lights went off. Someone probably turned them off manually. I agree. That actually might be the case if you think about it. Someone probably snuck out the ritual room and cut the power out. We had to be someone from the ritual room. Wait, who who would that suspect be? Either Trey or someone else. That's that's someone else, most likely being Snow. You're an idiot! I've got nothing to do with this case. I will never kill Glesh. Even though you explained he was as being strange, I did get sus- But that wouldn't make me kill them. What is wrong with you? Sure. No, that's wrong. Glyce score didn't get killed in the dark. How can the killer see? The killer didn't have a light. I will cut your words. <laughs> Are you sure about that? If the killer didn't have a light. We get it, you meep! Glasgow wouldn't have died if there wasn't some sort of life source! Wait one minute. Someone probably hacked the lights to turn them off. Ken, are you sure that is the case? I'm getting a little suspicious of you. What are you talking about? You're crazy! Well, you might be wrong, but you might be right. This is one of the most confusing trials I've ever been in! Tell me about it. This is confusing. Wait, Ken said someone hacked in the, hacked the lights. And that might lead to one suspect. Because there's no way the lights could just go on and off on cue. Can you explain that, Lior? What? What do you mean? I say, can you explain that? Can you explain the lights? I have no idea what you're talking about. Sway my no, however. What are you talking about? I had nothing to do with the flies for stuff. Okay, I'm going to remind you. This is how all went. The killer was already preparing for the murder. They wanted to pull off a deadly trap so no one could think it was them. After getting a word about a ritual someone wanted to do, they went to they went off to kill the person wanting it. The killer had just came back from the library with a secret book. The plan was to, to sneak the book under the door, as it was a simple delivery. <laughs> Glasgow heard the no noise and picked up the book. He was confused. But he wanted this all along. He wanted to try it, but he didn't want to be alone. <laughs> Trey said he, he needed to get stuff. But what Glyscore didn't know was that Trey was teamed up with the killer. Trey used a device to hack the lights and the killer went to work. 
The culprit knocked out Glasgow with, with the book strong enough. That it gave him a huge concussion, which was perfect for the killer. He started tying Gliscor to the wall with a rope he found. <laughs> then he stabbed Gliscor in the eyes, causing the boom to take an effect. After all was said and done, the killer went into hiding. And there is only one person who can do this crime. Is this true? We are as Asus HL coder. So does that explain things a little better? Well, I admit to helping Leeler, but I never knew he would kill Glyscor. I regret ever helping him out. Sorry, Leeler, but your time is up. <laughs> Leeler confessed. Fine. I'm sorry, everyone. It was me. Well, at least you were honest. I told you! I told you! I freaking told you! Well, it's time to vote! But before we vote, we upgraded our little slot thing. Now everyone, it's voting time! Dad, 